As we continue to head into fall and things finally start to cool off, you may know or you might not know that October is Energy Action Month. We're looking for ways of saving energy, being more efficient, keeping warm during the winter without blowing a lot of dollars out the window, so to speak. Here to talk about how they can help is Jason Haithman from Project Home. Hey, Jason, how are you? Hey, Justin, I know nobody wants to talk about it, but it's coming, so we have to, right? <laughs> so let's talk about the highlights of Energy Action uh, Month, because as I alluded to, October is Energy Action Month. So what exactly does that mean? Well, it's a great time, really. This month it was, was designated a number of years ago to just kind of highlight uh, and get people's awareness and their conscious level up about how to conserve energy. Uh, we know a lot of people start thinking about it as the temperatures start cooling off. It's a great time for people to be also informed and then maybe take some action and be motivated. And it really is just finding those different ways that we all have in our daily lives and our businesses where we can reduce our energy usage and help, uh, help conserve our planet. And I know you guys over at Project Home have been champions of energy efficiency for years before it was cool, as they say. What are some of the things that you do to promote energy efficiency? What are, what, give us some highlights of some of the work that you guys do there. Yeah, more than 40 years, Justin, we've been operating the, the weatherization program. We'll talk about that more in a little bit too. Um, but we've, we've done energy efficiency work and it's really evolved over the years as we've learned more about how buildings work, building science, and we really become experts in that field. Uh, all the way down to our incredibly specific testing equipment by using, you know, blower door testing and gauges to measure air movement to go along with infrared camera usage uh, to give us a scope and plan an idea of what's happening in a home or a building, and then having the knowledge and the work plan to take actions to improve that by using sealants like uh, expandable foam, caulking, things like that, sealing up those air leaks and then adding insulation to really make a big comfort impact and lower the energy usage. And so this weatherization program that you've been doing for 40 years now, well, congratulations, that's fantastic. I mean, it has its own day. You kind of assign it a day, obviously, during October. Uh, October 30th is the day. So uh, what's the significance of weatherization day? And like you said, I mean, more than four decades doing this program across the country, okay? It's, it's countrywide. Um, we operate the weatherization program for income eligible homeowners in Dane and Greene County, uh, but the, the program operates year round pretty quietly, Justin. So we have one day, one day a year, we get to really highlight it and say, this is our day uh, to tell people about the work we're doing, about the impact, about how it impacts our home stock, our environment, our communities locally, and people's lives who are really struggling. So it's a great way to just kind of get awareness, the word out, but also let people know if you're struggling, this could be a program that could help you. And you know, the, you've got some great programs over at Project Home. If somebody's watching right now and they wanna learn more, but let's say maybe they uh, find out that they don't necessarily qualify for the weatherization program, there are other ways that you guys are helping out with energy efficiency, et cetera, in the community, right? There are, I said we're experts, Justin, and, and it's, it's not an overstatement. We've been doing this type of work longer than any company, any for-profit company out there. Um, and so we put ourselves out there and created a, a, a division, a social enterprise division called Optimus, where we can perform work on people's homes. They pay us, we do biz just like any other contractor. The proceeds from those jobs go back to support our nonprofit. Um, we just thought with our expertise here, it's a great fit for us to do, especially some of this energy efficiency type work. So we're also a trade ally, an approved trade ally with focus on energy, and we can apply for their rebates if we do work on people's homes. But it's the same type of work. It's just doing it out in the community for anybody who maybe wants to pay us to do that work. Sounds like you guys really are the go-to guys. If people are looking to make their home more efficient, maybe uh, just go straight to Project Home. And you know, it sounds like you have more experience than a lot of the for-profit companies, as you alluded to there. So um, real quickly, if somebody's watching and they are, are interested and they want to find out whether they do qualify for the weatherization program or uh, some of the other options that you mentioned, what's the best way to do that? Where, they, where can they get started? Well, they can head to our website, you know, projecthomewi.org. They can also call us uh, directly and we can identify pretty quickly. And that's one nice thing too. If someone calls us and maybe looking into the weatherization program or sometimes the reverse where they call us and they think, oh, I don't, I don't qualify for that program maybe. 
Um, we ask the, the basic questions, find out maybe you do qualify for weatherization, you don't even realize it. And if you don't, uh, there are other ways we can help you if you want to make those investments in your home because that's what this work is. It's a long-term investment in your home that pays for itself over time in your reduced energy usage. Awesome. So much good information there. Thank you so much, Jason Haveman from Project Home for joining us today. We appreciate it. Always great to see you, Justin. Don't go away. There's more Talk Wisconsin after the break. Stick around.